Hello, my beautiful people. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching my video. Thank you, thank you so much for returning. And thank you so much for all the love and support you show my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers. I am absolutely humbled by you choosing my channel to watch. But today I wanted to share a small little... Yes, it is a small little Dollar Tree um, haul. And I also wanted to review my month of July Ipsy bag. I got such a cute little bag that's different from all the rest of them, y'all. This time it's vinyl or plastic. I don't really know what it is, but it's a nice quality um, plastic or vinyl. And it has the pink with the green. Oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> Here we go again with the phone is being rude. I forgot to turn it down. So it has um, tropical. No, it says escape. And it has the palm trees. And then on the back it has the Ipsy logo. You can see that. Let's see. You see that? Ipsy. Well, it says Ipsy. Oh, sorry. Woohoo. Woohoo. Woohoo, come on baby, come back with me. So it says Ipsy on the bottom, but what's really unique about this bag is that they have a plane as the tassel, if y'all can see that. Isn't that cute? It's an airplane. Did you see that? Let me see. put it, put it on my hand. It's very, very cute. Very different than, you know, their usual tassels and stuff. So, the theme of this month's bag is staycation, kind of staycation, pamper yourself kind of, kind of theme. It says, your glam bag, packing list, it says, take a break. Airplane mode your phone, put up a metal, do not disturb, a mental do not disturb. It's time to re-energize. Whether it's a living room, dance party, or a bold lipstick, take a break from the ordinary, let loose, and go with the flow. Where will it take you? Ipsy, take a break. <laughs> so that's what the theme of it is this this month for July. Okay? Hope you guys can see that. And so we've got some really, really pretty Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadow. And it's by Koki Professionals. And it's got like a little uh, elephant down there at the bottom. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see that. Let me see if we can get that visual. Can you see that little elephant down there? And it's by Koki. And it's really, really pretty. But I cannot wear... Hello. I cannot wear liquid eyeshadow. I don't know why. It always breaks me out. But this is really, really pretty. I did swatch it on the back of my hand, you guys. Mmm. A lot of glitter. A lot of glitter is in here. So if you can see it, it's very, very pretty. But there's a lot, a lot, a lot of glitter in there. So that's the first one. Then we got this. Beauty for real. This is called Hotter Than Miami, and this is a lip cream. It's very pretty. Not really one of my colors, but it's very, very cute. And it's called, again, Beauty for Real, and it's Hotter Than Miami. So that's what that looks like. Very, very nice, very pretty. And then we've got some curl cream by Verb, Shape and define, defriz, and repair curl cream. And I've never heard of Verb before, but this is what that looks like. And it just says Verb. Looks like that. Okay. And I did not open any of them. They're all sealed with the little foil tip on here. So we've got that. Then they put in uh, Firm, firmabeauty.com. And it just says Firma, Firma 201. And it looks like an eyeshadow brush. Very, very pretty. Nice handle. 
comes out of the plastic. It's very, very sturdy, very well made. Um, eyeshadow brush, very, very pretty. So we've got that. I'll put that back in the bag when I'm done. And the last item that came in this month's bag was um, three hydrate protect Maraud Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30 PA plus plus plus. Wow. So it's kind of some kind of moisturizer for protection, I guess, from the sun. I would assume. Okay, it looks like this. And that's what the small tube you get in there. And if you see this, let me see if I can do this so you can see it. But if, again, it came sealed. It's got the little foil tip on it. And I don't want to open it up just in case I decide to do a giveaway with it. But the curl cream did smell good, you guys. I forgot to tell you. Mmm, yeah. That curl cream smelled really good. And that's without the tip being removed. And those are the five items that came in this month's empty bag. And I'm going to have to write them or call them and let them know that my bag came open this month. It was like this. You can see how it's um, not leveled. And it came open just like this. I didn't even have to finish opening the envelope. It was open like this. But I did get all five of my items in there. But yeah, we're going to have to do something about that because... Yeah, my bag came open. I don't like that. <laughs> but let's move on real quick into this small little Dollar Tree haul. I found some new items at the Dollar Tree um, yesterday. I didn't go out of the house today. So this was, I went yesterday. I found some Wet n Wild Detox Deep Cleansing Sheet Mask infused with bamboo, bamboo charcoal. I swear, y'all, they just keep coming out with all these sheet masks. And me... I buy them every time. I could not stop. I saw these and I said, when did Wet n Wild come out with um, sheet masks? And the directions are really in bold print. You can clearly see them. And I was like, you get one mask in each. And of course it says new. And it had this with the Bolero stuff. Go figure. I don't know why. They See where it says new up there? They had these with the Bolero stuff. And the expiration date looks like it's 2022. 6-11-2022. And then they had these two. Wet n Wild Luminous Deep Hydrating Sheet Mask. Moisturizes for healthier looking complexion. The detox says it purifies, pours, and clarifies, and clarifies the complexion. Okay. So this one is infused with shea butter. So I picked up two of these because I was like, yeah, I'm digging this. They're going to go into my beauty um, packet giveaway. As soon as I send off all this friend mail, then I can start doing my giveaways. And so these were new and I really, really liked them. I'll see if my sister wants any. I don't think she uses face masks because her skin is sensitive like mine's as well. And like I've told you guys before, you'll see this quite a bit, quite a bit because every time I go to the Dollar Tree, I'm trying to pick up these alkaline e-circuit alkaline batteries where you get four for a dollar, y'all. And y'all know Dollar Tree done went down on our batteries. They started at three, then they went down at two, and then they have the nerves to leave the packet where the space is empty. I'm like, really, guys? <laughs> So these are the E-Circuit. I got one pack of the AAA and one pack of the um, AA. And of course it says alkaline for high drain devices. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Alkaline for high drain devices. And so I'm going to pick up a pack of each every time I go there if I can think about it. When I was picking up the calendars the other day... I don't know. Did I show the calendar video yet? I can't remember. I'm so behind in all my videos, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Anywho, I did not look around the corner where they had the calendars on display. And I found these yesterday. And I did not see them because they had them around the corner. These are the um, pocket two-year pocket planners that we keep in our purse every year. My mom, my sisters, myself... And I saw these and I just got us all the same exact one because it was what? 
purple. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. They are so pretty. Oh my God. Look at these. So I got mom one, my two sissies one, and I got myself one. And they're so gorgeous, y'all. And they're just the regular, you know, two years planners where you can log stuff in. You know, I think they have a little notes in the back. Yep, they do. They come with a little scripture on, um, I think they do. Yeah. Great is our Lord and of great power. His understanding is infinite. Psalm 147.5. Yeah. So they all come with the little scriptures at the beginning of the month. And they come with these beautiful, beautiful pictures. But whew, for a dollar, y'all, to get this, I was like, oh, my God, this is so gorgeous. So I got four of those. Okay, moving right along. I got went down the food aisle, and I found some stuff that I had been looking for before that they were out of and hadn't restocked the shelves since the holidays. And that was the imitation... Um, vanilla extract and I'm like a lot of people think that they have to use the real pure vanilla extract and hey if that's your thing that's your thing but I've been using imitation v vanilla my whole entire baking life and I've never had any problems or issues with it and I was really really trying to find this at the Dollar Tree when I was doing all that baking and they were out they finally finally restocked and this is at eight eight fluid ounce um, imitation vanilla by Supreme Tradition and I was very very happy to see that I probably should have gotten two but y'all know another item that they had been out for a long time and I couldn't understand what was going on was the regular schmegular black pepper and y'all see this right I've been looking for this black pepper forever now I bought the other one and you know the thing about the other one, which is still by Supreme Tradition, is that when you open it up where the um, little spouts are, too much comes out at one time. So I have to actually take the pepper and the Himalayan peak salt, that is the same exact way, and pour it into my hand first, and then take what I want and put it in my food. Because when I turn that bottle upside down, where it's supposed to be the, the um, yeah, y'all know what I'm saying. It's always, I almost oversalted my um, egg salad and honey, I would have had a fit. I was like, I had to really, really doctor it up, like add some more vinegar and stuff like that to def, um, because I almost, with the Himalayan pink salt, almost oversalted it. So I have been looking for this black pepper for a long, long time. Just like I said, regular, schmegular black pepper y'all <laughs> I mean how hard is that why did it take them so long to restock the shelves with just the regular black pepper again should have got two didn't think of it now I did get two of these go figure where my brain is when I'm in the Dollar Tree y'all and doing this stuff but I found some Pampa instant bullion cubes in the chicken flavor and now that they have the chicken flavor I'm hoping that they'll get the beef flavor you know, as well, I'm sure it'll be coming along, you know, very soon because um, once they get the chicken, they usually get the beef. But these are excellent for when you're steaming your vegetables or your rice or your noodles, anything like that. Instead of using the broth that comes in the containers, I just take a couple of cubes and mix it with water and use it as my broth and make my own broth but they are a little high in the sodium but it's 970 milligrams you know but again you can you know try to um, detox it or whatever the name is by adding more water so I thought this was a great deal and they got a lot in there for a dollar so I did get two of these which I was ecstatic so now I don't have to buy any chicken broth because I got these so, moving right along, when I make my egg salad, it calls for yellow mustard. I did not, I do not eat yellow mustard a lot. I like the spicy brown, golden's kind of deli kind of um, mustard. And so, 
the yellow mustard that they have in the Dollar Tree and under the Dollar Tree brand is this huge, huge bottle of yellow mustard and I just didn't want to buy that because I felt like it was going to, you know, expire in my refrigerator. So, I was out and I was browsing and look at here what I found, guys. <gasps> French's mustard. Now y'all know anything with a name brand is always going to be smaller than the Dollar Tree brand. But that's what I wanted. I didn't want a big thing of that mustard. You know, this is also good for when you get cramps and you take a tablespoon of mustard or two and, sw and eat it. It'll also help for cramps. There's all kinds of good things you can do with this mustard, you know. But like like I said, I just like that deli mustard, but for my deviled eggs, for my egg salad, this is the kind of mustard I prefer. And so it was an eight ounce um, jar, uh, container of French's Classic Yellow Mustard, and it does not expire until October 12, 2021. Yay! I love when I find things like that. And it was so cute and small. It'll fit perfectly in my refrigerator and not take up too much space so that's another perk then I bought some more mayonnaise <clears throat> and I always look to see the mayonnaise in the Dollar Tree which that says real mayonnaise now they do have a bigger jar in the Dollar Tree but it does not say real mayonnaise I'm just saying I'm just saying IJS okay so this is the Muller's and it is, it does say real mayonnaise and I use this all the time and it is absolutely delicious. So it tastes to me just like Hellman's mayonnaise. So I'm like, can you see that? Yeah, there we go. So I got that. And then when I'm roasting my vegetables, Brussels sprouts, uh, asparagus, green beans, broccoli, anything like that, I love to put my Parmesan cheese on the veggies when I'm not steaming and I'm roasting I absolutely love my Parmesan cheese so I got another one of these because I was getting low this will just go in the pantry and then like the batteries I've also tried to pick up a couple of my agaves you know sugar for when you know I don't want to run out I ran out the first time and I wasn't too happy about that but thank God I found some more the very next day I'm hoping I didn't puncture that. It looks kind of indented. But anyway, yeah, I did get two more of my agaves um, syrup, low glycemic sweetener for my diabetes. It seems to be working well. And then I picked up another thing of my napkins because this is getting low here that's in my napkin holder. And I do have another one on backup, but I like to keep one on backup at all times. And then I found some Epsom salt. And I don't know if you guys remember, I bought a, pa a bag of Epsom salt from the Dollar Tree already, but it was it didn't say specifically for foot soaks, okay? I saw this yesterday and I was like, yes please. Assured Refresh Foot Soak Epsom Salt Natural Magnesium Sulfate Crystals with Added Fragrance. Relief for tired feet from standing, running, or overexertion. Rejuvenates and restores. Soothes minor aches and pains. Spearmint and menthol scented. So y'all know I got that foot massager that I have yet to use, <laughs> but I plan on using it now that I got the Epsom salt that's really for the foot soaking. So I definitely plan on using this in one of these days while I'm still off. So I got that. And then, I don't know guys, if anybody is experiencing this like sudden, what do you call it? A sudden heightened feeling that things are going to go back to when they first started with the C word. And so it's causing me to not hoard, but just to be proactive. I guess that's what I want to say. So every time I go to the DT and I get a good deal and I see the kind that I like, either whether it's this or Dollar Tree brand, I'm just trying to pick up, you know, a couple of them at a time. So I did pick up another one. Y'all will be seeing these a lot because my instincts, something inside me is just saying things are getting out of hand again. 
they're gonna end up, you know, people are gonna end up, you know, hoarding TP and stuff like they did before. Right now, something's going on in the country with the coins. You know, we're asking people for exact change of credit cards at my job because there's a shortage of coins now. So, yeah, I, I may be, you know, over, you know, whatever, but my instincts on bad things has never steered me wrong, okay? Now, if my instincts say I'm gonna hit the lotto tomorrow, eh, I probably won't hit that lotto tomorrow. But, I'm just trying to be proactive and just try to stock, but my closet is still, you know, very, very well stocked, but I have been using my stuff, so I really wanted to, you know, just, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Someone on my channel, one of my subbies, hey, I forgot your name, please forgive me, asked me what kind of um, nail polish I had been wearing. And I thought I had done a haul on this polish, but maybe not. Maybe she missed it. But this is the polish that I've been using, you guys. This is called Maybelline New York Fast Gel Nail Lacquer, okay? So it's really, really pretty. It dries really, really fast. And I love it. But the only thing about it is that you cannot find it. It's every Dollar General that I go to, they are just completely, that end cap that they have these nail polishes on is always empty. Now, there is a third Dollar General here in my town, but it's across town. And I very rarely get over, the, sorry y'all, my, my back and my neck is hurting. But I very rarely get over that side, but I'm off for the next few days. So I might take a ride over there to the Dollar General on the other side and see if they have any of these but these two colors are the only colors that I've been able to find I did see a gray and I should have gotten it because I didn't think ahead and feel like the gray would look really nice with the black or even with the burgundy but these are what I've been wearing <coughs> excuse me it says nail lacquer lasting wear high shine fast drying okay I don't even use a top coat with these because Yes, you can see my nails are just gorgeous. It's a really, really nice shine. So they are $2.50 at the Dollar General, the DG, not the DT, okay? So if you have a Dollar General in your area and you can find them, yeah, good investment for $2.50. They're absolutely beautiful. And the best part about it is they dry quickly. But... This is going to be the end of this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Love, peace, and happiness. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share my video if you like. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great day, guys. Oh, one more thing, you guys. If you would, would we please have a moment of silence in prayer for my friend Shauna Shoemaker on Hanging with the Shoemakers here on YouTube. Shauna is going into surgery tomorrow and I just want to say a little silent prayer for her real quick, okay? Dear God, thank you, Father. I know you have this, Lord. I know you have her wrapped in your arms. Thank you, Lord, for sending us to us. In Jesus' name I pray, Father. Amen. Okay, thank you guys for letting me um, do that. And I hope that you will join me in praying for her and making sure that everything is okay and that she comes through this with flying colors. I love you guys. Have a, breath, have a blessed day. Bye.